Kayla Richard in the circle for Minster. Lady Wildcats taking on Southeastern in the regional final from Tip City. No score bottom second runner on first. Richard gets Julie Myers to chase for the strikeout. Lady Trojans would load the bases later in the inning. Only one out, but then Haley Lee pops one up to Marissa Conrad. Infield fly rule is called, so there's two away. And Emily Myers fouls one off. Reagan Hahn ditches the mass, finds the ball, makes the catch right up against the fence. Tremendous play by the junior. Gets Minster out of the jam. Top third, still scoreless. Rachel Heckerman swings and misses at strike three, but the ball gets away. She hustles down to first and is safe. Later, Minster this time loading the bases with two outs. Alexis Robinson gets hit in by the pitch on the helmet. That brings in Heckerman to score the game's first run. Minster leads one to nothing, and they weren't finished. Next batter, Reagan Hahn. Drops a single into center field. Two runs come in to score. It's now three to nothing Wildcats. And remember, they scored seven runs in the third in the semifinals. So let's add some more. Sarah Hosey turns on one, hits it hard in the left field. Here comes Robinson in to score. It's an RBI double. Minster now leads four to nothing. All of this coming with two outs. Nicole Branaway looking to keep it going. Bloops this one into right field. Rachel Werman scores. So does Sarah Hosey. It's now six to nothing. Wildcats, they're loving it with another big inning at regionals. Bottom four, Minster with some defense now. Savannah Sullivan lines one hard back to Richard, knocks it down, makes the play at first. Nicely done. Then Kayla gets Rachel Mills looking to end the inning. Jump ahead to the bottom of the seventh. Minster up 9-3, one out away from State. Maddie Johnson hits it hard. Richard knocks it down. Heckman picks it up. Gets the out at first. Minster wins 9-3 to, to capture the regional title. Kayla Richard tosses a complete game. The big six-run inning does the job. Nicole Brandaway also homers in the win. Scott Robinson and company, they're headed to Akron to play in the state semifinal on Friday. It's just one of the best feelings in the world. I can't, I can't describe it. It's awesome. It's unreal. It's the best feeling in the world. I've always worked to come go to state, and now we're finally going to go, and it's great. Well, I just had confidence in my teammates behind me, and I knew if I hit my spots that they'd back me up and get the runners out. But right now what I'm seeing for her is she's perfecting her skill a little bit more. Kayla's just trying to hit you know, hit the spots, and I can't say enough good things about her. She, she's carried us this far. She'll get us there. When I know that we can hit the ball, it takes like a load of off me and I can just do my thing on the mound and have trust in my teammates. Hopefully instead of getting a ton in one inning we spread it out to more so then we have more runs and then we just keep putting them on. What we need to do is put that together in a couple more innings because you know if you can put an eight or ten spot on the board that's tough for another team to come back on and so far it's worked for us I just like to do a little bit more of that. On top of winning the girls are having a blast and there seems to be something special about this particular group. I'm ecstatic. It's a great feeling. I'm so happy for the girls. They're like my best friends. They're my second family. I know people say that all the time about their sports teams, but I really mean it with them. It's nice to have like a support system when somebody's down, somebody else will pick you up and it's great to have that feeling. 